it's time to Zwift. So welcome to Tour of Watopia, stage 2, route C, the easy ride, 19 kilometers on the flat, which is perfect for me, but I'm coming back from one injury, which now I believe is totally recovered, and two, a subsequent COVID, which has probably put my fitness right down to zero. But anyway, let's just set the camera and a bit better. <sighs> Don't need this. Don't need it. 50 seconds to go. 90 people on the start. Okay, so basically, officially, a tour of Watopia is a group ride series. Uh, the big plus about it is every year you get double XP points on every route, uh, which allows you to level up uh, very quickly. Uh, officially, it's not a race, it's a group ride. There are no group leaders, and the majority of people use it as a race or training or challenge. So don't be surprised if you're in a small group at the back and somebody sprints to beat everybody in your group. It's just the way it goes. Three, two, one, let's go. So how can you get the best out of Torotopia? Well, you can use this as a training ride, or a challenge ride, or a race. Don't realize you don't know who you're racing against if there are Category A and B riders in the same group as you, which is more than likely going to be the case. Even on the easy routes, there will be people riding to win, to finish first. So what you can do is you can say, oh, okay, I'm a Category C rider, my objective is to finish in the first 30% of this field. And that's quite motivating. Or you can say, well, I had a hard day yesterday, I'm going to take it easy, but I need to get into a group to make it a bit easier, sit in the group or take turns. Like this group here in front of me, I'm just going to put in a bit more effort to integrate it into this group, and then off we go. A group of about six, seven riders. Let's get in there. There we go. This seems to be right, yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no! I've shot past them, but... Okay, so... You can treat it as a race. Treat it as a challenge if you know that you're not going to get a top five or ten result as such. The challenge to be in the first 40 or 30, depending on the group size. So here I'm in a group, switch to forward facing, and I sit inside this group now and just chill. You don't have to try and ride at the front of these group events, you can ride near the back, you can deliberately set off easy to integrate into a group at the back. I've seen this happen a lot. You, you think you're going to integrate into an easy group and what happens is you see some of these groups sitting off at the back build up and build up. Then you find you're working your way through the group. Not enough to get to the very front of the event but it's enough to keep you motivated. Oh how hot's worth Anyway, I'm talking and I'm getting dropped. So if you're in a group, the best thing is to <laughs> concentrate, not to get dropped. Okay, so now I have to put out 2.3 watts per kilogram to get back on. Whereas the others are doing about 1.6 watts per kilogram in the blob. It's more of a straight line actually. 2.8 watts. Still a second to drift. You do that shit. 
cost quite a lot of effort, you know. Then my father doesn't look like I'm going to manage it. Yes, I got it. That cost me three and a half watts per kilogram. To get on, you can see from the graph at the bottom of the screen, it did cost me. And, uh, and all of a sudden, <coughs> at 1.6 watts, and you said, What happened? Is there something wrong with the game? No, you've had to, you haven't had any draft. You've had to ride faster than a group, as a, than a blob. So, on your own. So there's a blob there doing 1.5 watts per kilo and bridge a two second gap you're going to have to put out double that to push the air to travel faster than they are to catch up so try and concentrate, don't go shopping on Amazon or texting without watching the screen <coughs> You can also perfect your drafting style and make sure that you are in the blob and not at the back or at the front. If not, it's probably a good exercise to learn about draft dynamics and watch, concentrate on your power at the bottom of the screen. There's a group in front of us. <coughs> now, in order to gauge the gap between our group and the one in front I can click on the riders in our group and move up to the front rider and the gap between the front rider and that's between six seconds that group is six seconds in front of us and so basically I'm sitting in at the moment don't particularly feel capable of doing much more than that but I might just go to the front and push the pace so I'll help to join his group in front yeah let's try that a couple of minutes hard effort fan on into the front Good. There we go. Let's take a look back. We're sitting on this group now. We've got a hill to go up, so this feather is going to come in useful here. And there's another group up the front. Well, okay, uh, duck. Yep. So about 10 seconds behind that group. And let's go. Oh, it's cool that a feather lasts to just the top of the climb. Here we go, we're going down a downhill bit. This is where we need to accelerate. Otherwise, we're going to lose them. Cut the corner. Cut the corner. This is where the steering comes in. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, look at the corner again. Yes. What's it like going? What's going on behind? Look at that. I need to see where the road is. If I'm going to steer, look at the corner. Oh, 
I ain't gonna catch him on my own. I need to let the group behind come. Yes, come on. I don't know, I think I to open the window. This is going to be full of condensation. Yeah. Well, these people are going to work, can't they? There we go. And what's, what's going on behind us? Nothing behind. We go downhill. Come on. Speed up, guys. Speed up. There we go. 49. What about his front crew? What are 43 So we're at 40, I'm going to click on something in front of the 39 So basically I'm not sprinting the finish, but I'm going to put in an effort and try and bring that group back. We're at 37, at the same speed. We're at 37. I'm at 36. I can't do any more. Just going on behind. So there. Uh, they're 35. And they're 32. And I'm losing. Okay, they're my problem. It would have been nice and motivating to try and get up there, but I'm done. Oh my god, I'm dropped. I'm dropped, I'm dropped, I'm dropped. Ten seconds, we're gonna close that high hit. That's for sure. Okay, let's see what happens here. We've got a dirty suppressor coming up. So I managed to bridge a gap, I didn't expect to, since they were 10 seconds at one point and I'm not very fit. <coughs> My group, 10 seconds back still, and I'm just going to sit here and watch the finish. 
so that's it you can take it as a race you can use it to test strategy so you can you can play out strategies without risking the world championships or anything use use these uh, tour of tour play events to test ideas to learn to improve but above all to have fun see if we can see them looking back the 60 there they are in the distance Okay, we've got one kilometre to go. The group behind is eight seconds down. Looks like they've accelerated a bit, that's far too late. Take a look back. There they are, thundering along. They are, we're at 39 kilometres an hour, and uh, 38, so they're not, they're not catching us anytime soon. Oop, there's somebody's taking a flyer. But they're obviously playing for the result in their group and not to catch us at that. That ain't gonna happen. Six hundred meters. So if you want to practice for sprinting, this is the ideal. Okay. Probably on a route like this, you need to be accelerating from four hundred meters but giving it full gas at two fifty two seventy. I don't know what that is in yards. You have to figure that out for yourself. Oh, we got a nice line there. Oh yes. Oh. Hundred and twenty meters to go, there we go, everybody go 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 sprint 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 So basically, uh, although I feel I'm through with COVID, I've still got a few minor symptoms and I haven't tested myself to test negative, so the mask goes back on in the house. Uh, take care everybody, have fun and see you soon maybe on Tour of Utopia Stage 3. Uh -huh. So basically, when I bridge the gap here, it was 149, 150 beats per minute. So what? Yep.